Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Whiteville, North Carolina, visiting Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, and I'm checking out a 2019 Ram 1500 in the Rebel trim level. Now the Rebel is smack dab in the middle of all the trim levels, and it is a very stylish and off-road capable truck. So let's go ahead and check it out. This Rebel is sitting on 275, 70 Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires, wrapped around 18 inch alloy wheels with a matte black and a six lug pattern. It also has four wheel disc brakes. Each disc is almost 15 inches, so it's very large disc brakes and all of them are ventilated. The name of this color is Granite Crystal Metallic. And the sun is shining. And check out the color a little bit. And while we're here, check out this hood. So this is a special hood for the Rebel, and it looks like vents that go all the way through, but this is all for looks. This is all cosmetic, but it looks awesome. So since this is a granite color, some of the black portions may not pop out to you. Now it has the flat black across the top here, and then of course in the main part of the grill there and a ram name there in the center it's not super bright but it is like a silver color or a gray bottom portion is matching as well with your tow hooks sticking out there now it has the active grill shutters now the active grill shutters are right in here and they're like louvers, basically, that open and close depending on the airflow to the engine that's needed to cool the engine. So at higher speeds, these can close up and force the air around the vehicle instead of through the less aerodynamic engine bay. And this helps out with the aerodynamics and fuel economy and overall efficiency. And then once the, the engine needs a little bit extra air, it can go ahead and open them up. So it'll open and close them. Uh, seamlessly you won't even notice us doing it and uh, just to kind of help you out with the aerodynamics now this one some of the ram 1500s in 2019 have the active air dam that extends down here at the bottom this one does not have it um, my uh, my assumption is the approach angle they're trying to get the really nice approach angle since this is a off-road focused vehicle all the exterior lighting on this vehicle is powered by leds so here in the front, you have LED headlights, turn signals, as well as your fog lights. Now the headlights are in a reflector housing, three reflectors. So you have two for your low beams and then the high beam there in the center portion. You have an LED daytime running light across the bottom, underscoring it and around the headlight basically. And you should check out my night video because this, it looks pretty awesome at night. The frame of this truck is almost entirely high strength steel. And when it comes out right here, it comes out in a Y pattern. So it spreads out here in the front. So that way, if you have a front impact, the ladder frame sticks out, it, it bends over. Instead of being all the energy being pushed back on that rail of, a, of the frame, it allows for it to bend over and absorb more impact than if it was just straight. So looking at the profile of the truck, it has the crew cab so it's a really big back door with plenty of room there and it has body matching handles and one thing about this is the monotone option that it, this one has it's basically the only option that the rebel has as far as an appearance package here on the side from this right in here about there down is typically black on the side of the vehicle painted black so in this case it's the the body colored across the bottom as well just kind of um taking away that black has a different look. And so you have that option of having the black at the bottom or not. And I don't think it actually costs anything different. You just a choice that you have when you get the, one of these trucks. This is what the key looks like. It's a proximity key and it's designed to where you can keep it in your pocket most of the time. Uh, in this case, you will need to take it out of your pocket to unlock the doors by pushing the buttons with the remote because it doesn't have the keyless entry but uh, that is an option that you can add if you wanted to it does have the remote start the lock and unlock and a panic button here and a physical key on the inside in case you need it 
So let's go ahead and push this panic button and see what happens. All right. The remote started. Let's go ahead and double tap that. All right, let's go ahead and turn that off by pushing the remote start again. The heated side mirrors are a power fold in this case with two portions. You have a separate blind spot type eliminator portion here and then a standard uh, mirror. It also has an LED turn signal here on the side that can be seen from all directions. So looking on the inside of the truck, here's the inside of the passenger side door and check it out. That combination of red and black is throughout this vehicle and it looks fantastic. Soft to the touch surfaces here, all the way here, here, and here. And then it, when you get below the arm, you get into the hard touch plastics. It has a l large pocket here at the bottom, removable foam cup holder goes in there as well. You also have a smaller one, a little bit higher position. This goes all the way through. That's also soft to the touch, kind of like a rubbery material. This is kind of like a vinyl here and here, and then a Nerf type material here at the top, all synthetic. And check it out, you have that metallic portion here looking pretty nice. Contrast stitching in a French design with two different colors. You have white and red, that's nice. Metallic handle, non-reflective, it's not a chrome. It's like a smoked chrome. The doors almost go all the way down. Manually adjusted seats. But check out these seats. Now notice it has a, this is a vinyl, so this isn't leather. This is a vinyl material with a stitching, stitching there. But here on the side, right here, you'll notice it turns to cloth. Just right where the plastic touches the side of the seat, this helps out with the plastic from digging into the vinyl and creating cracks in it. The, so the soft um, cloth is more supple and that way it protects the seat a little bit better, especially when you're putting weight on it and it's squishing and pressing up against that hard plastic. It has like this mesh material here on the side and then you have the more smooth vinyl on the ends. And the mesh, uh, if you look between the mesh, you actually see a tire tread pattern, which is pretty cool. It also has the Rebel name embroidered on the inside of each seat. That looks awesome. As soon as you get in, you notice that immediately as soon as you open up the door, actually. The headrests have the red on the back, black on the front. And check it out, they're adjustable. So you just pull it forward like so. It releases it all the way back. And it's like a ratchet, so you can pull it forward and it ratches one click at a time. You just stop it, you go all the way and let it go and it'll go back to its upright position. You can also adjust them up and down like a normal headrest as well. Now there's a little storage pocket here on the side. This is similar to the uh, previous years, except for a little bit bigger. It's intended for papers, file, like a huge file folder can fit in there, all kinds of stuff. And the floor mats are spectacular. I mean, for a factory floor mat, these are awesome. Uh, they snap in place. They have the RAM uh, badging on it. Textures looks great. I'm going to unsnap it just to show you how contoured this is. I mean, check this out. Look at that. It's contoured. I'll get it in the light to mold to the, to the shape of the floorboard. You can pour a glass of water in there and it'll catch it. There's lots and lots of if you get in with snow on your feet and it melts or mud or whatever, it's going to catch all that. It's real easy to put it in and out, clean it, you can hose it, put it back in, snap some place so it doesn't move around on you. Really good, really good floor mat. Very impressive. And I like the use of the red here around the, around the vents. And then you have that white and red contrast stitching on the soft to touch dash. Rebel badging. This is soft to the touch as well. And this, you push this button, opens up. Isn't that nice? Has a little light in there. It's like a, a quick access glove compartment with a rubber lining on the bottom that you can take out, clean, put back in. It 
And then you have a locking glove compartment that's more standard. Smooth plastic on the inside. There's handles on all four doors, including the driver's side, to help you get in the vehicle. So moving to the back seat, look at the back door. See how wide they, they swing out? Almost a 90 degree angle. This helps out with getting in and out of the vehicle, but also for cargo space. And I'll explain that in just a minute. Has some privacy glass that's easy to look out of. Reduces glare. The back door is very similar to the front door in its styling. It has the contrast stitching, the soft touch surfaces everywhere except for this top part and the bottom part. You have the pocket here. You have the large pocket at the bottom as well. Really like the use of that. There's metallic accents as well. That's nice. So back here is basically a bench seat, which you can flip up in a 60-40 split fashion. So it has a similar styling with the mesh in the middle, the contrast stitching. It even has an armrest with cup holders with that same stitching. Can move the, that up and out of the way. It also has the latch system for car seats back here. You can utilize those in all three positions if you'd like. The back of the seats have that red with the pockets on the back of them. So right in here you have a little storage space, your air conditioner vents, cup holders, and a tablet holder all in one. And check out all the leg room. So even with the front seats all the way back, it is fantastic. You also have space underneath the seats for cargo. And there's some hidden cargo space I'll show you in just a minute. Now these seats lift up. So we can lift this up. And we lift it up. There's a little bag holder here, which is nice. Now we have a pretty good size cargo space. Now you see why it would be handy to have this door wide open. So if we want to put, put a big box or whatever back here, we have a completely flat floor. No transmission hump or axle hump here in the center. It's all flat. Fantastic. Even these mats snap in place when you're sliding boxes or whatever in here, they're not sliding around on you. And you even have cargo tie downs underneath this. These can be cut out and you have cargo tie downs under here if you want to tie down your cargo as well. You also have, I'm gonna move this mat out of the way because we have some hidden storage back here. So there's a grip here for when you're stepping on it, getting in and out of the vehicle. You have your tie downs on either side. This lifts up and here's your under the floor storage space. And it's basically a plastic bin in which you can, you can take it out, clean it, put it back in, utilize this space uh, that's completely out of the way. And you can just put stuff in there that you need to take with you, but you don't, small items or whatever, and it's completely out of the way. You don't even think about it until you need to use it. Now you can flip up the other seat and have a tremendous amount of space back here, but being able to flip up one seat or the other also gives you the ability to expand your, your cargo space while maintaining some passenger space, and your cargo is secured inside the vehicle out of the weather and outside, of, you know, just secure from being um, stolen or whatever. Has a power sliding rear glass. The headrests, you see they kind of get in the way a little bit, but if you have don't have any passengers back here, you push this button, you can flip them down to get up out of your way as far as your visibility back here. Which you'll check that out in detail at the end of the video. So taking a look at the back of the vehicle, at the very top of the cab, you can see it's contoured a little bit. The very top it has some lines there. This is a more aerodynamic front windshield and top of the cab according to ram you have a little shark fin antenna right here you have cargo lights at the back as well those actually those kind of look like standard bulbs to me but i don't know okay and then you have the privacy glass and the back glass tail lights are all led now right here there's actually two places that the if this vehicle had the blind spot detection system and rear cross traffic alert you'd have a sensor here and if it had the trailer detection system it would have a sensor in the rear view the side mirror here which would detect your 
if you had a trailer behind you and allow, uh, give you a warning if there's a vehicle in your blind spot where your trailer is, which is fantastic. Okay, so you notice all the emblems are blacked out, the 4x4, the Ram, and the Rebel. All kind of blended in. Even have the black uh, tips here for your exhaust, dual exhaust. Class 4 receiver hitch. And you have your 4 and 7 way outlets that are easily get easily access because they're right here on top of the bumper they're not below which all the dirt will be and everything this will be less dirt easy to get to easy to see especially considering your tag lights will be there at night time so you can see them even better the backup camera lens is in the very center position right there nice and it's in a high position too so that way you can see just get a better view when you have the high center position like that. You can see it directly down to back up a trailer and line it up perfectly center because it's in the center position. So the tailgates has an electronic button here. So we push that. It releases the tailgate. Now I'm going to let go of it. And it has a soft landing. So it's assisted. Now when you lift it up, super easy to lift up. It looks like a big heavy tailgate, but it's not that heavy. And it's a little bit of a, has a little bit of an assistance there, uh, lowering it and raising it. Now this one has the spray-in bed liner option on the window sticker, which will go into all the details on the window sticker uh, at the end of the video. You have some bed lights. These are LEDs here and here, and you can check out my night video. Like I said, you also have a cleat system. You have tie downs that are fixed, and then you have these cleats that are able to go anywhere on that rail so you can have a tie down anywhere you want. The fuel door is here on the driver's side, which is convenient. And it's a capless design. Now there is a rubber seal right here, and there's two stages for the nozzle to go through to keep trash from going into your gas tank, but it's super convenient. No cap to worry about, no getting your hands dirty, and no check engine light turning on because the cap's loose. Okay, so let's go ahead and start it up. I got the key in my pocket, so it can be anywhere in the vehicle, in a pocket, in a bag. Put your foot on the brake, hold it, and push this button. Here's the floorboard in front of the driver's seat. You can see it has that same floor mat that hooks in place, just like the passenger. Accelerator and brake pedal are there, and it has a, this whole section is angled to be a footrest over on this side. Let's take a look under the hood. To open the hood, there is a latch right here in the very center portion, this little open spot. Let's reach in, move it to the left and lift it up. And it goes up by itself, which is nice. And there's a seal at the very top here, all the way across the front, insulated under portion of the hood. You notice those vents do not go through the hood. Has an insulated firewall insulated battery. So this one has the 5.7 liter V8 paired to the eight speed automatic transmission. Now the 5.7 liter gets 395 horsepower and 410 pound feet of torque. You can add more torque by getting the e-torque. It's like a electronic motor that amplifies the um, the power of the engine using electric torque. So as your the vehicle's first starting out, gives you a little bit more. But this vehicle doesn't have that. It has a standard 5.7 liter, which is a beast motor, especially paired with the eight-speed automatic transmission. The inside of the driver's side door is just like the other side, except for it has a few more buttons. 
You have your door lock controls, power window controls. The front two are automatic on touch up or down. So I'll go ahead and push it down, see how fast it goes. I'm gonna pull it up a little bit just so you can show. I can show you this. It's a dual pane, two panes of glass laminated with an acoustic material on the inside. This gives you a better sound, keep the sound out, but also just a stronger pane of glass and overall structure of the door. Side mirrors are adjusted here. You just pick a side and adjust it with that little pad. And then you push the center button here if you want to power fold them in. Now the driver, they have, there's a little bit special, I guess, because they have a power seat instead of a manual seat. So you're able to go up and down, forward and back, tilt the back. You also have a four-way lumbar adjustment as well. So they get a little bit pampered. Or if you're, dri you're driving the truck, then you get pampered. To the left of the steering column, down here you have the electronic parking brake, adjustable pedals here. So your pedals, your uh, accelerator and brake pedals, you can move in and out. Headlight controls, you have off, parking light on and automatic. Fog lights are controlled with that and your bed lights are controlled with this. Ambient lighting, you can adjust that. That's a dimmer for that. And your interior gauge lighting, you can, that's the dimmer for that as well. The steering column, there's the latch for it. It's a tilt and a telescoping steering column. So not only do you have the telescoping steering column, also the adjustable pedals so you can get the right position for you.